Okay, thanks for joining me again. This example is going to show you how you can use Templator and your spreadsheet to easily swap out source footages in a template that's specifically designed for a slideshow. So if you're like a wedding videographer or if you're just doing corporate um, you know, slideshows for business, my hope is that Templator will make your life much easier. So let's get started by taking a look at this template. Now I purchased this template on a site called VideoHive and it's a really great template. Um, this one is produced by a studio called Flux VFX and you know it basically takes together a lot of different sources and makes a really engaging slideshow. So the objective here is to be able to swap out all these sources really easily without having to futz with After Effects's you know import function and its scale function and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so when you're dealing with source footage, what you need to realize is that the source footage folder is the root folder on your drive or your network that contains all of your sources. So that can be split up into different subfolders, but I'm gonna go ahead and click this, and you can see here I'm already in my slideshow folder. I've got this assets folder, and you can see here I've got these subfolders, one's called MEX, CODA, and SD. This stands for Mexico City, Circuit of the Americas, and then San Diego. And within each of these folders, I've got files, okay? And these files eventually get referenced in the spreadsheet here. So this is the spreadsheet that is driving this project that I've got open in AE. So you can see here that for the Circuit of the Americas render job, I've got this coda word slash and then the name of the file that I want to put into the video two layer. Now here I've got, for the Mexico City, I've got MEX slash. So if I look at the folder structure here, I can see that MEX has all of these images. So that's essentially how you set up your files in your spreadsheet to be brought into AE. So let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, so now that I've got this assets folder selected, I'm gonna hit open. And so now I know that my source footage folder matches the assets in that slideshow folder that contains this project. Okay, so now what I wanna go ahead and do is make sure that I'm linked up to the right Google spreadsheet. So again, I click on my Google button here, and this time I'm gonna click on vacation slideshow. And you can see here I've got um, a worksheet titled 35 to 102. So if I go back here, you can see 35 to 102. So that just helps me in determining where my work area is when I'm actually using this uh, spreadsheet. So I click OK. And essentially, now when I hit next row, what you're going to see are these images are just going to swap out. So here's the Circuit of Americas. And I've got these shortcut numbers here so that we can see what's going on. Um, you can see here three uh, shows you know these and then four shows these okay if I hit preview again now we're gonna go to the San Diego uh, set of folders that I'm sorry these are the Mexico City files that I have referenced in the spreadsheet so there's you know that one and then two and one okay I hit it again and then we're back into the San Diego one so two three four okay You'll notice though that you know when I'm back here, we see these placeholders, and that's only because Templator couldn't find any references for those layers, even though those layers have the Templator settings effect applied to it. So if I go here, you can see that you know I've only assigned footage to go to about six layers in the project, even though there's more than six photos in the project file. So that's just to make you aware that Templator will not you know stop in its tracks when it's swapping out footage even though it can't find something. So if it can't find something or you misspell one of your file names, um, you're just going to get one of these placeholders here. So don't fret if you see this, just make sure and double check that A, the file exists, B, the file is named correctly, and you know, you'll be okay when you hit preview uh, once again. Okay, so let's take a look at what these comps are actually doing. now. The nice thing about what the author did here is they have this folder called replace images here. So I don't have to dig through the timeline. 
Um, now I can see that you know they they've also named these properly and very nicely. So if I go to let's say video two, which technically you know they delivered it as a video, but I'm just using image here. So I'm going to go over to video two and just double click this. Um, this is where you know the photo is being dropped into. Now you can see that the layer. I'm sorry that the footage source is larger than the composition size. So this composition is 1920 by 1080. Um, the video file is larger than that. So let's take a look at the effects controls for this particular layer. So I'm going to double click this and open up my layout. And you can see I have a scale factor of 100%. But then I've got this fit image style. And this parameter will only show up when you have it when you have the templator settings applied to a footage source layer. So I'm going to choose fill cropped. Um, and what that does is it ensures that even though it's at 100%, um, it's going to crop it so that all of the pixels in that composition are going to be filled up. Now, if I change this from filled fill crop to letterbox, no cropping, and then instead of previews as next row, I'm going to do current state and hit preview. You're going to see that this file now um, is scaled to 100%, but it does not get cropped. So it depends on what your slideshow is actually doing and how you are arranging your compositions. But you know, if I go back to my render here and I go back to where that is, you're going to see that that setting of you know showing all of the file is not you know going to work for me. So if I go back into there and here and I set this up to fill crop and then do preview and then go back here, you're going to see that that's, you know, going to look better and probably as intended. So uh, real quickly though, um, if, you know, I've got this set, set to fill and then I drop this down to let's say, you know, 85% and then hit preview, um, it's still going to look like it's, you know, set to this letterbox, but in fact it's not. It's just scaling down to 85%. So, you know, these two work together to ensure that you can get the footage to show up in the composition the way you want. Um, most of the time your footage sources probably won't be the same resolution. If they are, that's great, but if, if, they, if they're not, you can use this scale factor in the fit image style parameter to ensure that the source fills up its containing composition just right. So I want to drive the point home about sources having different resolutions by showing you a different project file. I'm going to go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and go to my recent projects and open up this one that I've used in a different tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to advance a little bit so we can see what's going on. But let's take a look at this folder, Templator Imports. Now I've used this project before, so that's why all these uh, files are in here, but I want you to notice that you know this file right here is 2800 by 2700 and then we've got this one which is 948 by 920 and then we've got you know this one which is 1427 by 1415. Now if I you know go to my next row and I preview, um, keep in mind I already linked up the right Google spreadsheet, um, you can see that you know there's some consistency here in the resolution. So if I go into my animation and then go into my album and do next row, we can see that there is consistency because the templator settings rule is set to a scale factor of 100, but that the letterbox says no cropping. So I'm ensured that the entire file will be displayed when I get to my target composition. Um, if I did fill cropped and I did preview, you're going to see that it's you know going to fill up at 100%, um, but it's not going to be, I'm not going to see everything. So if I go back to here, you're going to see that that is being cropped because it's, you know, a nested composition. So, you know, um, you can really use these two parameters to ensure, you know, your footage sources are going to be as you expect when you bring them in, regardless of their resolution.